In this session, we are going to talk about new updates that Zoho released to their blueprints. As you know, I am a huge fan of the Zoho blueprints. It's the ability to create processes in the CRM. Basically, the business owner or management are dictating how the system is supposed to work, and then all the employees must follow this process. Brilliant. So today we are going to talk about one of those features that are so released, and that will be the parallel transitions. Now, this lesson is obviously for people that knows the blueprints, and if you don't know the blueprints, you can still watch it so you can feel the power of what is a blueprint. So we are going to create a blueprint. And if you remember, the basic part of a blueprint was that you can drag and draw basically one transition, okay? And the transition would take you from point A to point B. And then whenever the employee is clicking on this button, obviously it's not clicking from here, it's clicking from the front end, which I will show you in a second. But when the employee is clicking on the transition, we can run automated backgrounds in the background or we can ask the employee questions. One of the problems that we had in the past with the single transition between the two states is that sometimes you need to have multiple steps for moving forward. As an example, before proceeding with proposal basically without with sending a proposal to a client i will need to verify that the client will have a valid us address i will need to verify that i have his driving license so i can see that he is a real person and maybe i also need to verify his phone number just as an example if you have only one transition you are limited to nine fields that's the limitation of the blueprint and whenever I will have multiple parallel transitions, I will be able to do much more than that. So let's go with the parallel transitions. Let's assume that I need to send a proposal and I'm going to drag and drop one a transition. I will name it verifications. But here I will also mark the parallel transition is on. Now, whenever I will do that, you will see that I have more options. And let's have option one. It will be verify address. The other one will be verify driving license. And let's click on the plus button so we can add another one that will be verify phone numbers. Okay, so let's start with the verify phone numbers. If I will click on that, you will see that I have here the before and after. And in my course, I already teached how to do that. So I'm not going to waste the time. And I will go to the jury. Now, when I'm verifying the phone numbers, I like to verify, for example, the contact phone number i will also like to verify the contact mobile number and just for the fun let's also verify the home phone number okay so we have your three transitions basically or three fields that we are requesting the user to fill the second one will be verify this driving license and in this case I will ask for attachment because I like the employee to upload the physical driving license into the record. And the third one will be verify address and that I can pull from the related account and that will be the street. And we'll have also the city and I hope you get the point. So we can have multiple fields here and let's publish this blueprint. Let's create a new opportunity so we can play with the black, with the blueprint. Okay, let's play with our parallel blueprint. So as you can see here, if I want to move from 
this point, basically from qualification to proposal, I will need, first of all, I need to fill all those. So first I, need click, I will click on verify street and I will need to have some kind of an account assigned to this record. So let's do that. Account name and I will have something here. When I will click on verify address, I will have the street address. So let's say 68 Alex Black Road and the city will be Maple. Once I click on save, you will see here that this transition was done and now I need to go to the next one. So basically I can't jump basically from qualification to proposal without filling all those. Then I will need to upload the driving license. Let's just select some kind of a file here. Okay. And then I will also need to verify phone numbers. And if I will click here, you can see that I can't because there is no related contact. So let's also assign a contact. Contact name. That will be Arsh. Okay, and I will have here some phone numbers. Now, only when I have all those done, then the system will push me to the proposal phase. And obviously, I can have more blueprints after that. So that will be the parallel transitions. It allows you to have multiple steps between two states. And that will be a state, for example. Qualification will be a state. Proposal will be a state. Send NDA will be a state. Between then, I can have multiple transitions and then it will allow me to do more work. As you can see, it opens the blueprint abilities to do much more than that. That's a relatively new edition that was released in December 2022. I didn't release it as a video yet because I wanted to be sure that it works well and it is working well. We have clients working with it and it looks beautiful. So that's it. That's the video that I want to show you today. That's the session. If you like the session, thumbs up is always appreciated. Thank you for watching this session. I will see you in the next one.